Hey, this is Steph Fuccio from Coffee Like Media, and I am here with Beck Johnson, a senior trainer of Hindenburg, to talk about words. <laughs> We're going to talk about transcriptions and manuscripts and the how and the why and the just the, the everything. Because let's face it, you've been using Hindenburg probably for a while, but you may not like to look at the sound wave. You want to work with words. And that's what we're going to focus on today. Hi, Beck. Hi, Steph. Thank you so much. So yes, this right here, we're looking at the manuscript and the manuscript is a function of transcription. Now we can transcribe directly in Hindenburg and Directly in Hindenburg, there is actually like a key in this whole experience mm -hmm. because what that means is transcription is not sent to the cloud. It is not sent to a third party. That's really, really important for journalists, therapists, or anybody with any sensitive information. Mm -hmm. So it's a really important detail. This is all done on your own computer. That also means that if you're traveling and you don't have access to Wi-Fi, uh, you can still use the transcription feature. So this is what it looks like mm -hmm. completely done. Um, you've got your manuscript down here and the regions are still, everything still looks the same up on top. So how do we get to this point? Can you show us from the beginning how to do this? Here I have a session of three people on the same track. Everybody's recorded on the same track. Now what we want to do is transcribe this. So the first thing I do is click on the region and go up to the menu up here and I go to tools and I can click transcribe. Now we have multiple languages that we can choose from. We're going to do English and because I know that we have multiple speakers, I will check that. Click OK and it will take a couple seconds and do some trans transcription. Transcription is the process of, of transcribing the audio and then the manuscript is where we're going to work. So this is the manuscript down here. The first thing that I want to do is everybody's labeled, but we want to put their names in. So mm -hmm. let's say, let's say you're this first one here and I am here. And the third person is my cat Lefty. <laughs> okay. So we've got it's, we just did that one time. And now when I scroll down, everybody has been placed. So it now everybody's got their names and is where they should be. All right. So wait, hold on a second. What if there are mistakes? Because I mean, AI only gets so good, right? Like, how can we, like, yes. how good are these? They're pretty good. Uh, but as you said, mistakes happen. So let's say this person's last name was spelled wrong. All I do is click on it. It's now highlighted. Mm -hmm. I hit enter and I change it to the correct last name and hit enter and that's it. So you can also correct more than one word at a time. Let's say the first and last name was wrong here. Um, hit enter and you can write Karen with a Y and sassy again, whatever her right last name is. It doesn't matter. You can do one word, a couple words, a few words, correct them all like that and hit enter and everything is changed. Now, on the flip side of that, if you wanted to add in more words where they are lacking, you can just say, I want to add in a sentence here. You can click on, you can select the word partner, click enter and add partner in crime and hit enter. And you nice. can change that too. We've got the individual speakers correct now, but they're still all mixed together in one waveform. Is there a fix for that? Because it might be yes. kind of hard so, to edit. Yeah, they're all on the same track here in the same region. So what we want to do is separate them. We can just click on the region here, go up to the menu, go to tools, and go down to split by speaker. And voila, <gasps> look at that. Okay, I want to see that again. Yeah, with the manuscript uh, everybody, down. I want to see, see that again. Can we do it again? Yeah. yeah. Go up to tools, go down to split by speaker, and it has put Boom. everybody on the tracks and labeled everybody's names too. That, I love that. 
Yeah, that's really great. That's really cool. <laughs> mm -hmm. Because if you can't record on separate tracks for multiple reasons, mm -hmm. you always want to edit on, on separate tracks. Mm -hmm. And the reason why you want to separate people is because you, everybody might be on different microphones and, you know, I might be sitting further away and you might be on your microphone. And so I might have to change the volume, for example, on everybody's tracks. You might have your computer fan on and I might want to add some effects. Uh, I might want to add some equalization. So basically I can finesse your audio, finesse mine. And then the third person, my cat, uh, you know, I can add everything on individually to make everybody sound as good as they can. Let's add some colors to the different regions here. So I'm going to select these, right click and go to the colors and let's pick, pick pink and I'm going to leave this one blue and we're going to go down here and let's do orange. The a big thing that I do in every session I edit is I will auto level everything now that I've got the regions split up. Mm -hmm. We might all have different volume on each of our tracks. So I would right now select everything and go up to the tools and do auto level. Now that is going to make everybody's Look levels that, even yeah. and right be just a giant time saver. Not only a time saver, but make you sound better, make your guests mm -hmm. sound better, make you sound more professional. Oh, yeah, because the factors, I mean, different microphones, different voices, different mic techniques, let's be honest, different okay. internet connections. I mean, there's a lot of factors that go into how how we sound, and that is gorgeous. Absolutely, and auto okay. level is one of my favorite features in Hindenburg. All right, Beck, so we're ready to start editing. What do we do first? Yeah, you can do editing in the manuscript itself. So let's say I want to take out this sentence here. I can just drag over the sentence that I want to get rid of. And uh, as you can see, it also selected it up here on the region. And mm -hmm. I can just hit delete. And it deleted everything in the region down here in the manuscript. Mm -hmm. It also snapped the entire session, not just that track, to the rest of the session. So we're not getting gaps. We're not messing up our timing and everything stays in, in time. That is so important. It's so easy, especially with three tracks and, and more to get out of sync as you're editing, but by, by not, you know, highlighting all of the tracks when you delete like that. So the fact that, that does that automatically is gorgeous. It's so nice. And then what a nightmare it is to try to clean that up when you <laughs> accidentally make those oh, mistakes. Yeah. yeah. You know what? This is amazing because for folks who are used to shaping stories with text, this looks much more like that. Does it function like that, Beck? Yeah, there are, there's another feature that behaves sort of like a text editor and that's the search function. There's a search mm -hmm. bar here. And if you're looking for the part in the story where the guy talks about a needle and you don't remember where it is, you can type in the word needle and we can see it brings us right to where it is and highlights it for us. So he says needle here and here. And so that's a great way to just search for words <sighs> in, in the manuscript. I love that. When I've listened through audio trying to find an exact moment and I keep like going, you know, every few minutes to try to get there, that's such a waste of time. And this is a time saver. This is the opposite of that waste yeah. of time. <laughs> that is like, feels like a little house in the prairie times compared to this, right? <laughs> it does. It totally does. So we're done making all the changes we want in the manuscript and we want to export this puppy out. Beck, how do we do that? Yeah, if we just want to export the manuscript, we can do that by right clicking anywhere in the manuscript and going down to export. So we get this menu here and we can click on that. We can export the whole thing as a text file. We can go to SRT or VTT for things like YouTube and things to make sure that you get your captions correct in the way that you want them. And we've got some other options as well. So if this has been helpful, please do like uh, this video and subscribe to the channel so you can hear more tips and tricks about how to use Hindenburg. Thanks for doing this with me today, Steph. Thank you, Beck. <laughs>